Good afternoon, Capricorn men, and welcome back to Will's Cartomancy Tarot. What I like to do is I'm just going to give you your who's coming towards you reading to identify the female in or females that I'm seeing coming towards you and just to express what the extent of your experience is going to be with this female. You know, things that you may have already experienced or in the process of experiencing what you are expected to experience in the future by the end of this month, okay? I'm going to also give you possible occupations as well as their signs. And gentlemen, if this reading resonates as we go through it, go on and give it a big thumbs up. If you've yet to subscribe, please take a few moments to do so now. Okay, let's get started. And I've decided to use my Lenormas deck in addition to a few other Oracle cards to just give you a bit part, more part and advice into your situation. Okay, let's get started. I'm going to First, just kind of identify this woman or women that I'm seeing coming towards you, okay? I'm seeing a, a, a taller woman. I'm also seeing a shorter woman that, that appears in your reading. Of. One who is very arrogant, serious, very ambitious. I'm seeing a party type girl, someone that's very popular, social, even potentially, gentlemen, promiscuous. You know, she appears to be someone with whom you have a kind of karmic type connection or she feels she would make you feel as if she's your soulmate okay because you have that attraction that I'm getting okay um I feel that she's very lonely distressed or hurt and in the midst of a crisis I'm feeling okay she seemed emotionally drained and very tired gentlemen okay yet she's very successful I'm feeling and she has a very uh, inspiring you know, type personality here. Okay, so let's get started with examining uh, gentlemen and the cards that fell to the bottom of the deck here. Actually, I selected four. We have the lily, the heart, the fox, and the bird. Okay, so just by just, you know, making some general observations about your bottom card here, it certainly seems that it's a very mature love, you know, perhaps with someone older, that the energy that seems to be coming towards you. And I'm saying this with a person that may be a liar or she's dishonest in some way or you in fact might be uh, caught up in some type of a deceptive type rela uh, relationship but I'm feeling that some type of tricky conversation is going to come towards you okay um, from this woman or some type of conversation or phone call it looks like you're going to be getting if you've yet to receive it already okay so let's just want to just look at the in individual cards here and we have the lily Okay, and with the lily, Saturn is the ruler and it's connected with earth signs. Okay, Taurus, Capricorn, and Virgo. And this card, gentlemen, is all about satisfaction and wisdom. It's all about maturity. So it shows that this female that I see coming towards you appears to be very set in her ways. You know, she seems to be a perfectionist, you know, a conservative type person, you know. And she might even be retired or she may even work a family practice or, in fact, she might even be a counselor, you know, a social worker or even works, in fact, with senior citizens. I'm also getting for some of you that she may even be a, a divorcee, okay? But she's very protective, I'm kind of getting. And then what sits next here, we have the heart. And Venus is the ruler and it connects with water signs, okay? Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio. So with this card, it's all about romance and sensuality. So it certainly shows that this woman is very passionate, affectionate, you know, it has a big heart that I'm kind of getting here. And I'm picking up for some of you gentlemen, light and or chestnut brown type hair. And this woman might even be involved in, you know, some type of charity type work, even with that card. And then next to that is that deceptive fox there. Okay, so with that card, Neptune is the ruler, and it connects with fire signs, Leo, Aries, Sagittarius. So it shows that, you know, because this card is all about deceit and lies, it shows that this woman is, you know, appears to be a bit manipulative, you know, very street smart, attractive gentleman, but very dangerous, clever, very crafty, you know, a petite average type woman, you know, shorter I'm getting, you know, from the energy that seems to be coming in here. Okay, and she may even... Um, for some of you, again, have reddish type hair, but she's very flirtatious or she could be involved in some type of criminal or criminal work, too, with this card. OK, and then next here we have the bird. So Mercury is the ruler of this card and it connects with fire as well as earth signs. So we have Leo, Aries, Sagittarius, 
Capricorn, Virgo, and Taurus. This is the phone card card, okay? It's all about, you know, social type communication, telephonic exchanges, you know, like to include texts. So this woman is very exotic, I'm getting, you know? She's could be a telephone operator even, but she's very gossipy, and perhaps she might even be involved in telemarketing or sales work or possibly a speech type therapist, but she's very, you know, chatty and very articulate, okay? So let's give you a story of the energies that I'm kind of seeing coming towards you, gentlemen. So I kind of see a relationship with an older woman in whom perhaps you desire to kind of get to know better, I'm feeling, and to even fall in love with her, I'm kind of getting here. But nevertheless, she's very deceptive, and I'm feeling that you're going to be receiving some type of phone call or some type of telephonic communication that I'm kind of getting. And I'm seeing here that perhaps that maybe she took advantage of you or you're, you know, or you're taking advantage of her. Or she may take advantage of you, but I'm seeing some type of call that you receive or some type of communication that seems to be coming up for you. And I feel that many of you are really kind of dying to kind of see this woman, but I'm feeling that there has been a lot or of manipulation and deceptive in your situation. And I see you having a rather, you know, passionate conversation when you guys talk with one another where you're going to really pour your hearts out to one another and you might even decide to kind of go out on a date but this card is signaling to you to try to be honest with your feelings and kind of trust your gut and because I feel that you're going to be seeing this person as your soulmate and then here with the cards that's from your past or basis of the matter we have the tower and Saturn is the ruler and it connects with earth signs, Capricorn, Taurus, or Virgo. And this card is all about official things or things of a serious nature. And she might be involved in work in a government, hospital, or military. Or she may be somewhat of a loner, but I feel she's educated here and a self-made type, you know, person here. So since this is the card that's showing the past or basis of the matter, and this the woman here that's significant, that shows that, you really wanted a serious relationship and really wanted to take things slowly or even to the next level with this woman, you know, as long as the relationship didn't get off to being suffocated, okay? So these are your future cards here, and that shows that, you know, just looking at these general observations here, it shows that, you know, even though you may want to be with this woman, a new person seems to, it's going to appear that in whom you're going to feel as a soulmate or you're going to feel that you have a karmic connection, but nevertheless, I see you having some type of a, an important meeting. I'm seeing a pleasant surprise here, and I see that you're going to be very happy. You could be given a gift, and I'm seeing that there's going to be some type of a fresh start, and that's going to end your worry that I'm kind of getting here that's kind of showing, showing up here in your reading here. So, Looking at the cards here, we have that garden because, again, these are your more future cards there. And the garden is connected with Venus and it represents air and fire signs. So air signs is Libra, Gemini, Aquarius, fire, Leo, Aries, Sagittarius. This card is all about groups and crowds and social events. So it shows this woman to be very popular, probably very uninhibited, a club goer, a party girl. She has a nice body. And she could even be works in networking or an event planner or maybe in a consultant of some sort. But rest assured, she's very street smart and outgoing. And then the next card here, we have the key. Uranus and the North Lunar Nodes connect with this card and it's associated with Earth signs. Capricorn, Taurus, and Virgo. And this card unlocks solutions and success. And it's all about soulmates and how you're feeling this strong karmic pull. And it's all about your feeling of past life connection. She could even be a switchboard operator or a diagnostician. Then you have the flower there. And so that connects with Venus and with Earth signs, Capricorn, Taurus, or Virgo. And this card is all about wishes materializing and joy. So it shows she has a nice smile. She's exotic, nice hair. She could even be a designer or, you know, does something with hair, like a hairstylist or interior decorator or florist. And for some of you, she may be a bit narcissistic and a herbalist in some way that I'm kind of getting with this card. And then next to that, you have the cross. Pluto and Neptune are the rulers, and it connects with fire signs. Leo, Aries, Sagittarius. And this card is all about 
worries, gentlemen, frustration and guilt. So she appears to be guilty and lonely and, and perhaps sick and sad. She's very shattered, I'm feeling, a whiner. And she might not even like her job here with this card. It may work in some type of religious organization. And then the last, you have that coffin card there that connects with Pluto. And fire signs are governed. Leo, Aries, Sagittarius. And this card brings about a lot of negative events. You know, life changing. You know, life alterations here. So for some of you, it might be an end to your, you know, to her single life or her, you know, and I'm kind of feeling that she's very depressed here and has dark features. She seems to have had a torrid past. And then you have the star. Jupiter is connected and it represents air signs. Libra, Gemini, Aquarius, and it's all about hope and optimism. And she could be even a web designer or works at night or does some type of IT work. So in the future, gentlemen, I'm seeing here that I see you meeting a new woman, perhaps at an event of some sort, in whom that you're going to, you know, feel like as if you're soulmate. But keep in mind with these cards here that, you know, she might not be ready to kind of settle down. But you kind of want to get to know her better, I'm feeling. But a challenge seems to be ahead for you with this woman as well as and it seems to be an ex connected too. I see a possible separation or you're going to be let down by this woman. And I see you kind of ending this situation or realizing that the situation is a bit dead end here. And or possibly you might give it a give a fresh start with someone new from your past. Yet your love here is unrequited here. And you might need to have a heart to heart conversation with these females too, and honestly discuss how you're feeling. But. Love yourself first in the process and understand that your relationship with each other is about to deepen. And love kind of conquers and transfer all things with this transformation card. And understand that let there be closeness between you, you know, but always give each other space. Because that's very necessary in your situation because no, love never really claims. It's simply alive and gives. And understand that life is certainly constantly, it's constantly changing. Yet, ladies, let Jim, at its core, it kind of remains the same. And love really does not change. It really only grows stronger. And change is simply love unfolding. You know, it's really a never-ending story. So, gentlemen, this is what I have for you. I certainly hope that this reading has offered food for thought. Be sure to leave your comments, like, and share. And if you need a personal reading, please contact me at wat61073 at gmail.com. Enjoy your day.